Lesson number five. In this lesson, we'll be doing he, she, and they. Remember, have your pens, pencils, notebooks, and a copy of the Quran, ideally one with the translation uh, available to you so you can track the words as you're going along. So this one is going to be a pretty fast lesson because we're going to look at the words and then we'll find a couple of uh, references to the Quran because there'll be too many of these references that we can go through. So I'm going to do this in a format which is like this. Hua, Huma, Hum, Hia, Huma, Hunna. So that should be there. That's a straight line. Anna, Nahnu. So, huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, ana, nahnu. It almost rhymes. It almost rhymes, yes? So you can put it into a rhyme. Now, what do these mean? This one means he. This means them, you. And this means them, Plural. Now you should know from previous lessons that when we say them plural, it means three or more in Arabic. Arabic because of course them means two people. Dual means two. Here means she. That means them. Female. So this whole category is female. Um, <coughs> female dual. And then them, plural, female. Yeah? So hua, huma, hum is he, them, them, as in two people, them, and then three or more. Here is she, huma, them, dual, female, hunna, them, plural, female. Ana means I, and nahnu means we. So here we have third person. Hua, huma, hum. Here, huma, hunna, ana, nahnu. Third person, this is first person. Now, <clears throat> we have a different format, which is anta, antuma, and antum. And then we have anti. Antuma and then Antunna. You can probably see a pattern forming with the females and the males as well. So you've got Hum, the, the meme, yes, and then you've got Hunna and you've got the Noon here. This is called Noon Niswa. Which, which means that it means it represents women. Um, and then we have, this means you, singular, you, dual, and this is masculine, feminine, it means you, plural, you, feminine, of course, you, Dual, we'll put D from now on, and then U, uh, plural, and feminine. So this is uh, anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antunna. So huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, ana, nahnu, anta, antuma, antun, antum, anti, antuma, antunna. You can learn this almost like in a, uh, a practice. It's almost like a rhythm that you can generate with this one. So let's go through to how this applies to the Quran. And of course, if you want to see more about how it applies to the Quran, click the link in the description and enroll onto the course to find out more and apply it specifically to understanding the Quran.